All right, now we're gonna go over some screening tests uh, before you squat. So we're gonna start with the ankles. The ankles are gonna be one of the joints that are limiting for most people. So a good place to start, if you're limited here, it's definitely gonna limit the way you squat. So we're gonna grab a ruler. We get two markings. For guys, we're looking at the five and a half inch mark. For ladies, we're looking at four and a half inches. So we're gonna put the ruler up against the wall. Uh, ideally, you wanna be barefoot for this, but if you wanna wear the shoe that you squat in, that's perfect too. So the four and a half inch mark, we're going right there. So that's perfect. In this position, you're gonna see if you can try to get your knee to touch the wall. This is about perfect. If, you're, if your foot is coming off a little bit, um, we won't qualify that as a passing test. We'll have you just actually move forward a little bit closer to the wall. So about the four inch mark there. And then that's, and then that's good. So not bad, four, four to four and a half. Um, some ankle mobility drills might help you out though. Okay. And then we're gonna try the same thing on the other side. Sometimes you can have an imbalance on one side versus the other. Um, Perfect. Um, especially if you play a sport, maybe basketball, um, or maybe have a lot of ankle injuries in the past, um, one ankle can definitely be tighter than the other. Yeah, <laughs> this is good to know. Yeah. So, so again, for ladies, four and a half inch mark. For guys, we'll do the five and a half inch mark. And this is a really, really good screening test. Um, in particular, where do you feel that? Do you feel it in the calf or do you feel it more in the ankle? I feel it in the front. So she's going to do really well with the banded stretch, which we'll go over in the next drill. It's like that on both sides. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right.